The Fort Worth Stockyards is a must-see for anyone visiting the Metroplex, but even the misters on this patio were no match for the heat. I was putting him here at the little water because he was sweating like crazy. Now I got this little fan for him, but it's not enough. This family was visiting from Sherman, Texas. We love this barbecue, but it's way too hot. It's way, we, we, like, we got here like 30 minutes ago. We ate and we're heading out. Maria Ordonez and her family are from Florida. In Florida, you get, I don't know, it's like, it's more humid, which you feel a little bit more sticky, but I don't think it gets this hot. It's like, it's so... <laughs> They've been sightseeing for hours. Doing the water, I even wet her hair to like, you know, stay cool, going inside, get a fan everywhere. So yeah, it's very hot. Stay hydrated too. It may be hot now, but with temperatures expected to climb even higher midweek, MedStar's assistant operations manager, Brian White, says crews are getting prepared by stocking their ambulances with cooling packs and IV fluids. Whenever in Texas, you have to prepare for the Texas summers. Since May 1st, they've treated 150 patients for heat-related illness. Most at risk, the elderly, the homeless, and people who work outside. Heat exhaustion and heat stroke, which could be fatal, are common this time of year. If you stop sweating, that's a very bad sign. But before you stop sweating, you'll actually start getting headaches. You may feel nauseous, dizzy. That's one of the signs that you need to get out of that heat. White says the best way to protect yourself is by staying indoors, wearing light clothing when you're outside, and drinking plenty of water. His best advice, listen to your body. Be aware of your body. Your body sends you great signals to let you know when it is starting to overheat. Olivia Leach, CBS News, Texas.